Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Child of Light. So, uh, I was just um, refighting some enemies, or rather I just re refought uh, one of those troll enemies. Making my way back to where we last left off. And after the combat we get some little dialogue here. What is this abysmal place? The dark wilds of some elf land. Not for nobles of our race. Where did you learn magic? Uh, not that Aurora used any magic in combat, but whatever. And you as well have wings. The forest lady unveiled the stars to me. Ah, you met her additionally. She gave me these magic rings. Little she did gift me, a tiny flute only. I am your elder sister, after all. It is my role to guard you. Hardly, this crown protects me from any fail, any fall. Oh, okay. Well, right, so that was literally just the first combat that I did, uh, giving the slow all uh, magic a try, which does indeed take a very long time to cast, but I mean, it's really nice. Um, that seems incredibly, incredibly powerful, actually, in a game that's so, you know, where combat is based so much around, um, you know, speed and, and, you know, turn order and knocking enemies back. So that's pretty good. Um, I also did actually manage to make a brilliant tourmaline, which uh, seems like it would be the best version. But I guess if I eventually, if I ever get two more of these, uh, and I'm going to try to, to uh, get my hands on those, because those just seem incredible. Um, I mean, I like I like them as having uh, as, as stat boosters for, you know, increasing magic. But just this extra 20% ch chance to paral paralyze... My god, I, I just can't talk. Extra 20% chance to paralyze enemies for 6 seconds, that's just so good. Anyway, yeah, that's what those do. Unfortunately, I only have two rough ones now. Uh, for the time being. I didn't really equip her with anything because, I mean, if I'm primarily using her for her um, boosting spells, boosting and slowing spells, I don't really need her to attack at all. I mean, having the build in paralysis effect, sure, that's nice, but I guess I'd, I'm pretty much always going to go for, um, uh, you know, well, I mean, what, what I've done in this one combat, and that's hardly a, an established strategy at this point, I guess, but, um, you know, I, I slowed down everyone, and then I just had uh, Aurora, and and I switched uh, her over to Aurora then, Nora to Aurora, and had both uh, Rubella and Aurora use their attack all, you know, physical attacks, um, with, of course, a 20% chance per enemy to to paralyze them. That seems pretty good, in addition to their them already being slowed down and dealing pretty good damage as well. <clears throat> I mean, I hadn't obviously used Aurora in quite a while, and her um, her one attack that she did actually dealt, dealt like seventy four damage, and that was a and that was a uh, an attack all. So yeah, her normal attack would would deal even more. In fact, um, come to think of it, I mean, I gave him this, but if I'm going to keep doing this strategy I just described, it makes sense to give her the best possible kind of tourmaline she can have as well. Right, anyway, um, let's... Let's maybe take a look at that once more. Surprise strike, only two enemies here, but still pretty good. Um, I mean, Especially against this super tanky enemy that is also weak to an element, it probably makes sense to... Yeah, in fact, why don't we go ahead and do this? I'm, I should get into the habit of just swapping out characters more. Clearly, that's what you're intended to do. So this guy is... Uh, yeah, weak and um, weak to fire. I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, I mean, these guys are already so slow, though, so I wonder if it's even really that worth going for lol all. But might as well, right? There. Cast very slowly. I guess I'll switch you out for Rubella again. 
for a nice tumble all. Yep, well, that worked out. Um, I mean, I suppose we can see her attack once. 26. Uh, I mean, it did interrupt, but otherwise not particularly impressive. Did not kill the big guy. Yikes. Hmm. Well, in that case, switch out for Aurora. Slash all. Slow down the big guy just in case he wakes up. Well, he did, but not in time. Devastation. Okay. Strength did go up a little bit. Uh, magic only up by two this time. Why, a talking fairy? As if, a firefly true. Huh, you are a feisty blue. You are feisty blue. Aurora, this bug is perfect for you. Hmm. Maybe. Anyway, skill points. Um... Okay. And you can... Wait, I wanted to head for quick and all. Right. One more level for that. Through this death trap again. Okay. No problem. Check every corner. Always. Hello. Oink. Achilles. No glowing sign. Can we be certain, please? That it is Achilles. Oh, it does not seem to be. Oh, wow. Sneaky. Five. Whatever. Give me, give me more tourmalines, please. Oh no. Is this a surprise attack? It is. Okay, good. So, do we slow them down? I guess so. Yeah, especially the that archer is pretty tanky and pretty annoying. So, yeah, switch off Nora. Act. Lull all. Um, you. Well, I mean, I'm gonna g just go for slash all. Rather than switch to Finn and use elemental magic. Okay, we got that guy paralyzed. Countering physical attack, I forgot about that. Never mind, that's an, definitely a, a very good reason to uh, actually use Finn here. Completely forgot about that. That. Is that gonna finish him off though? Sure. Took some damage already. Okay, good. Ninety-nine. Uh, so you're not gonna come in time? Maybe. Yes. Good job, Finn. Wow, what? I mean, yeah, that was a crit, but holy moly. I'm Finn. Nice to fight beside you. How adorable! A garden dwarf! Uh, is not a garden gnome. Thank you kindly, thank you kindly, miss. He's not offended? What's a garden dwarf? What? A garden dwarf? <laughs> Ganondorf. Must be the door to a garden. Orf. Uh, I don't, I don't even know. Dialogue in this game is just something else entirely. Hey, we can actually make another tourmaline. Awesome, which means we can make another better tourmaline. We could make a better ruby for what it's worth. Is it worth? I don't know. We can almost make a better citrine. Actually, we could make a better one right now. Hmm. Yeah, why don't we actually? Faceted Citrine, awesome. Um, I mean, I could 
keep the rubies to make um, amethysts, I suppose. Or more citrines. Hmm. Or not. Uh, let's see here. Do I give you this? I mean, yeah, that just synergizes so well with her constantly using her tumble all, right? A chance to bump back and or paralyze everything she attacks, which is really strong. Mm. You can definitely get this. We don't really have anything to boost your magic with. But that's okay. You could have more HP. I mean, I suppose anyone who doesn't have anything else might as well get extra HP for what it's worth. I could make a one better one and still keep three extras. I guess there's no, not really much of a reason not to. Um, I mean, who has the lowest HP? Well, that's pretty much still her, so yeah, I guess. There, you can have that. Oh wow, that actually doubles. I, for some reason I thought it was only plus six. Well, that's, that's even better than I thought then. All right, awesome. Um, I guess technically you could have fire attack, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, anyway, um, that's that sorted for the time being. Oh, hey there. Okay, this probably just leads to some extra loot. Oh, wait. Oh, um, hi there. What the heck? Can I surprise you like this? Nope, not like that. Oh, they are actually kind of fast. Okay, so we're switching out for Nora. Lol, everyone. You can wildfire that dude. Yeah, they're gonna act. Okay. Oh, she was interrupted! That sucks so much. Okay, yep. That is definitely something to be worried about. Ouch. Okay. Um, no. Let's try that again. And that, wow, it, even if you're interrupted, it costs you your MP. That is rough. Okay. Well, she should definitely get the spell off this time, but man. Hmm. So I'm gonna slow down this rock dude. There you go. Uh, I guess you can do another wildfire, which should finish off the tree. Gathering strength, yikes. Hammer, don't attack him though. Wow, okay. Um. Stone. I don't know if I've ever seen you attack. Wow. This is suddenly going very poorly. That's kind of amazing. Okay, let's try this again. Jesus, though. Yeah, at least the tree thing is dead. Those guys take very little physical damage, as expected, I suppose. Um, and they're gonna interrupt us, no matter what we do now. That's really poor timing. Um, I mean, I suppose in this situation what you could do is actually use Defend. Crazy, I know. Okay, you just gathered your strength. Still, holy crap. Okay, anyway. Um, I guess you can tumble. It's not like anyone else has... You know, anything that would work better against them. Unless they are Earth Elemental and thus weak to fire. Physical counterattack! Well, that's great. Oh. 
as a counter to a physical attack, they increase their armor further. Yikes. Not weak, but uh, definitely vulnerable to magic to an extent. Okay, I mean, we can knock you back, right? If nothing else, we can also paralyze you. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Sixteen damage was enough. I suppose they don't have a ton of hit points, but they are super annoying. So, uh, note to self: avoid fighting these boulder guys if, whenever possible. That seems like a pretty decent plan. Okay, her crit chance goes up. That's nice. Strength goes up. All right. MP dodge, magic defense. Her crit chance also goes up. Get a rough ruby for what it's worth. How delightful! A carnival jester. Not yet. I'm on my way to a circus nearby. And how strong you are. That she is. I bet you could raise a real lady high. But raise a real lady high? Show me one and I'll make an attempt. She means a try. Yes. So she does. Uh, are you the pig we're looking for? Why this pig? I don't know. Why not? I don't see a because he's big. I don't see a glowing mark of any kind. Quicken elixir. I would kind of need some restoration here. Oh. If we could. There you go. Okay, just a dangling minecart. No, nothing too unusual here. Is there anything else? Wait, we came from in here? We kind of messed up getting these. It's fine. Oh, this is closed. Is there an entrance up here? Pretty much has to be. Where else would it be? No? Huh. Okay. I missed something then? Hmm. Oh, wait. No, never mind. So, this door is closed. Looks like there's a path from below. But I thought I... Oh, there's no path through there, though. Hmm. Okay, what about this way? Oh, the mirror. I fear it is there. There. Okay, in that place that, we've, that we're seeing in the background, I see. The temple up in the air. We cannot fly that high. Perhaps there's a path through the sky. Let us ask someone nearby. Yes. We will eventually, but first we got much bigger issues. We got a place with treasure that I need to find a way into. For now, I guess we go back down this way and... Ouch. Seriously, though, is there not a way? I'm pretty sure I, I tried. Oh, hey there. You're just sitting there out in the open. HP Stardust. Well, um, we have established that Aurora is still the lowest on HP, so, yep, she gets that. Can we enter that? We totally can. Well, in that case, maybe this is gonna lead us into that, into the interior of the tower. Hi there, Fiery Spirit. Surprise strike, I like it. Um, let's, let's try tumbling for the time being. Let's see if they retaliate or something. Okay, they're definitely, yeah, they counterattack physical attacks. Which is a bit of a problem because we really, really only have one character who can attack magically. I mean, yeah, we could have two. Maybe it's time to finally get Aurora to... Well, I mean, suppose technically she has a spell available. So, uh, yeah. Definitely could do that. Vulnerable to water, but not dead, actually. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Switch to Aurora. Light Ray. I mean, that enemy is weak, though. I 
And a, and I'm not sure if a slash is actually gonna finish her though. So let's play it safe, I guess, and at least kill one of them. 76. I mean, that's okay, and it's definitely better than a physical attack would have done. Plus, uh, you know, she did not retaliate, so it's definitely an added bonus. Burning whale. Okay, attacking both, and he got interrupted. Wonderful. Defend prevents being interrupted. Yeah, thanks. But it also prevents me from being able to attack. Hmm. The question is, after defending... Oh, actually, defense lasts for a number of turns, doesn't it? That's how it's useful. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I wonder why it's only now st suddenly started being a problem. Um, you know, being interrupted. It's never really kind of come up before, despite some fights going on for a while. Hmm. Maybe I've just been lucky before and just unlucky now? Who knows? Anyway. Um, I mean, there is that... Whose spell was it, actually? Was that also Nora? Who can protect... Yeah, she has that barrier spell, right? Okay, so, she had... so that becomes even more... Even more attractive now. Anyway, uh, I mean, I guess we're gonna have you... Use Light Ray as well. Or Light Ray again on this one. Okay. I suppose a couple of extra levels are just are also going to make things you know easier in general. Defense. There we go, that's an actual physical defense stardust. Yeah, so this one goes to you. Yeah. It doesn't help a lot, I guess, but maybe it helps a little. Rough Emerald times three, okay. Just a bunch of chests. Oh, hey, we could... I could see that just now. Camera, please? No, camera's not scrolling down that far. Hmm. Wait. Oh, we can literally just drop through the floor. Never mind then. Rough emerald times two. Awesome, awesome. Oh, actually, now we're missing uh, sapphires. Okay, fair enough. Also, who can level up? Everyone, I guess. Well, not everyone, but um, anyway. I guess we're going for light rate too. Hmm. I could also. You know what? Might as well unlock Starlight level one just so we have the option. Because it is. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's, it casts faster, deals slightly less damage, but casts faster, costs less. So yeah, just to have that as an option if we just need to interrupt an enemy as quickly as possible, perhaps, and we don't have the time for light ray, or if we just want to conserve mana and just need to get any kind of attack in. Yeah. Okay, uh, meanwhile, you keep working towards the better healing, just in case. And for you, well, we get quick and all for now to have that option. But yeah, unstoppable, and especially unstoppable all, seems like a really good thing to have. Okay. Alrighty. keeps going. Wait, can we... We can go this way. <sighs> Rough sapphires, there we go. don't have a normal tourmaline right now. No. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Now we somehow have to get into this cage. Okay. I see. Yeah. We have to take the lower path. Get into there. Uh, just 
sneak through there real quick. Ooh, here we could exit. Okay, this is more complex than I expected, but that's good. Oh, and it's just a little side room with treasure. Don't mind if I do. Lol elixir. Oh? What? Tumbled emerald. I <laughs> interesting. I did I double tap the button perhaps, or did it actually just register both opening the chest and uh, using the door at the same time? I think it did. Thankfully I still got my loot. Uh, would have been unfortunate if that had somehow cancelled each other out or something. Anyway, um, Oculi? Uh, that was just another emerald. Or was it a tumbled one, actually? Maybe. Okay. Um, 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 right. Okay. Which means, okay, earth resistance... Um, lightning damage. Wait. Oh, it's lightning, right? Not light. Never mind. And MP. Okay. Hmm. Would you benefit from just having more MP? I guess more so than extra HP. It might make a difference. So, might as well. I don't know if we need to restore any more, but. Might as well, I guess. Defense elixir. Yoink that real quick. And that as well. Open this. Um, permanently increase magic. I mean, there's really only one character that makes sense for. Although, that being said, I mean, we've definitely started running into situations where we just want to use only magical attacks, so in those cases we would be using Finn and Aurora. Yeah, you know what? There you go. Okay, there's uh, another chest, and oh, we can actually collect that with them. I didn't know that. Or did I? Uh, our bodies cut like dragonflies the air, dividing, parceling the winds for later, to unwrap carefully under the stair. Like bark, our skin stores fire's blinding blue flare. Earthquakes, our bones shake at their equator. Arc light from the, from the sky dances in our hair. Gifts all hidden beneath surface willpower. Raging rivers subterranean pure. Water tap before the explorer's tower. By, the, by wild ones, keepers of magic power. They alone divine the deep source obscure. Their grasp taught Lemuria to flower. Yet instead of giving, we build cages and bury truth, hide our world from the ages. Huh? Our bodies cut like dragonflies in the air, dividing, parceling the winds for later to unwrap carefully under the stair. Like bark, our skin stores fire's blinding blue flare. Earthquakes, our bones shake at their equator. Who is this talking about? Arc light from the sky dances in our hair. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Water tap before the explorer's tower by wild ones keeping of magic keepers of magic power. Is this describing anything like any regular creature or person? Something you could basically figure out from the description, or is it... I don't know. I really can't tell. Anyway, um... I mean, I could go with a slowing down. Actually, I probably will, yeah. We have plenty of uh, head start here, so there is no chance of them interrupting us. So I want to lull all. You can start killing them. Like so. One of them is definitely gonna act, so maybe by slowing down one of them, I can at least keep that one stunned up. Right, you can swap out for Aurora again. I mean, maybe by. Uh, actually, if I. I might be able to keep them both 
slowed down significantly or uh, enough sufficiently. That's the word. Let's see here. If I go for Lightray with a very long cast time. Okay, nice. That worked out. Very good. Hmm. Of course, it's a bit of a waste to use another monsoon on this one that's basically already dead. So in that case, yeah, why don't we attack the other one? Yeah, between that and the monsoon is probably going to die. And it did. Ooh. Yeah, that's not going to work out. We're going to get attacked. So I'm going to take a chance here. Use Starlight, actually, before we do that. Just get, go for a refill. And with any luck, it's either not going to attack. Okay, or attack Finn. Awesome. Sixty-seven. Decent. Oh, wow, it's not actually dead. Huh, interesting. So, a Starlight and a Monsoon were not enough to finish it off. But surely, it must be super close to death now. Yeah. Okay. She levels up. Um, decent defense and magic defense boosts. Some strength. Okay. Two points of magic. Unstoppable elixir. All right. Go through here. Mm. Oh, that's uh, not super helpful, but uh, whatever. Okay, we got a pushable block there. We got. Oh, we need the block down here, actually. Or something. Huh? Hello? Oh, just darkness. Just regular darkness. Kind of abrupt, though. It uh, took me a bit by surprise. Sir. No enemies lurking here? Oh, you know what? Oh, that's the tricky part, of course. Well, first of all, we can't actually push the, the box over this way, so... Yeah. It's not really all that tricky, is it? When there's still only one way forward. Okay, the only tricky part about this is the treasure chest hiding here, I think. Anyway. That opens the way into this place. Oh, okay. That's just a treasure room. Tumbled Sapphires. Oh, wow. Three Tumbled Sapphires? Not bad. Magic Motions. A rough citrine. Okay, well, I was hoping for a, uh, a way into that other... into that tower structure. I really don't know what to do about that. I, I guess I have to look around a bit more? From the other side? From the right side? Um, let's see here. Lightning Strike. I mean, honestly, I've hardly been using Lightning at all. But I gotta start somewhere, right? What is this? Speed upgrade. Increase speed by one. You know what? That's not terrible, actually. I mean, right now that's kind of more useful than than getting Lightning Strike 2. Especially since it's not even Lightning Strike all, you know? Being able to unlock the um, the all version of any of his skills would be really useful. As it is, just a better lightning strike. It's not going to do that much for me. So, um, yeah, just making him permanently, permanently faster, I think, is the better call. Of course, as I said, eventually I, I want to, if possible, I want to have um, all the level 2 spells and ideally all the, you know, hit all spells. I'm not sure how feasible that is, though how many skill points there are to go around before the end of the game. Anyway, for you, we want... Um, yeah, we have the two uh, speed up and speed down spells now. And we're working towards unstoppable. Okay, well... Time to make our way back out of this place. So definitely still active. And why wouldn't they be? What are we, how are we doing 
treasure wise okay three out of eight 23 out of 79 pretty good progress although of course since it's not broken down by area by sub area that would be super useful I wonder if that's ever gonna be the case I don't really see how it would be or why it would be but maybe because without that uh, it's gonna be real rough trying to find any missing things. Okay, so, I mean, there's a chest that we have to reach physically. Oh, I just did not see this at all. I guess I just haven't been... Oh, I totally have not been up this way. Oh, silly of me. I could have sworn I had. I guess I just... Oh, this is where I started. Yeah, this is where I came out. And I just went down straight ahead. I never went up. Okay, that's my bad then. No reason to be confused at all. Okay, low elixir. Right, those guys shoot you and initiate combat from afar. I forgot about that as well. Oh no, these guys. Okay, I mean the good news is that we get a surprise attack here, so we're definitely, definitely gonna slow them down to prevent them from doing as much as possible. Uh, in fact, yeah, we're definitely going to focus on slowing down the boulder guys because they just suck so much. Uh, you can. Switch out for Finn. Yeah, because we basically don't want to use any physical attacks against any of these enemies. So we're gonna switch out. Um, I guess I could have actually switched out Nora for what it's worth. No, wait, I couldn't because she was she's in the middle of casting. She has not done her thing yet. Never mind. So that would have been silly. Uh, act. I guess we're gonna wildfire the archer. Yeah. Yeah. Keep that one boulder slowed down. Actually, no, no, it's fine. Because we slowed him down. We get both of our attacks off before it does anything. Yeah, we were attacking him. That doesn't really matter. He's armored too, for what it's worth. Wooden dart. Okay. Now you... Hmm. I guess I could have her... No, actually... If I'm going to attack the uh, the other boulder, it still makes sense to switch her out first. For uh, I guess I I'm probably gonna get uh, a light ray off before this guy's turn, and there's a chance to one shot. You're gonna wildfire the archer again. Please kill. It's about a 10% chance. We, well, we interrupted. That's good. Nice. Archer is dead. <clears throat> and you can... Okay, I mean, this guy is also almost dead. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just... Attack that one, slow down the other one for what it's worth. Oh, wait, it got its attack off? Wait, okay, I mean, thankfully I was not interrupted. That was silly, though. For some reason, I, I was sure her attack would go off in time. Wait, so I'm currently... Which one am I killing? This one, right? Hopefully. Actually, I'm, I might not kill it, but I'm gonna knock it back either way. Oof, this is getting slightly complicated. Oh, hey, there's, there was still stuff there that I missed. That's okay. Um, uh, might as well go for lightning, I guess. I might as well target this one, just in case it does not die. I killed the other one instead. I'm... Okay. It's fine. It worked out, despite messing up left and right. And that's all that counts. More potions. Hey. Give me my stuff. Speaking of stuff, 
can push this down, open up that door, and finally get into the into the tower. That confused me so much. Ooh, um, oh, wait, nope. Can, can I please? Surely. Fine, I'll go around then. If you insist. There you go. Firefly elixirs. I've not really been particularly necessary. Oh, wow. The box. Huh? Can you please grab the thing? Thank you. The box landed almost perfectly on the switch. Almost, but not quite. Rough sapphires. Oh, speaking of which, I have I found three of these, and I can make a rough, uh, or rather, a, a tumbled emerald to make a tumbled tourmaline right away. That's convenient. And I can make. Another rough tourmaline like this. Make another tumbled one. I am an idiot. Why did I do that? Why did I do it? I have no idea. Okay, hold on. Can I... Do I... No, I still don't have a small one of those. Well, that's... Um, that just happened. Okay, well, fair enough. My bad. It's, you know, not a huge deal, but still kind of annoying. That should open the exit down there. Yep, okay. Hmm. Not that we really needed that to... to get through here, but... Um, why did I want to sneak through there at all cost? Who knows? Apparently it was necessary. Okay, anyway, I feel like my concentration is definitely starting to become a little bit lacking here. Oh, got some wind going on there. Magic potion. Is this closed? Yes. Kind of hard to tell sometimes. Okay. Come on, camera. I literally just saw that there is... You know, that we could just fly two meters higher and we would be able to to just fly above that structure, but oh well. Oh, this is not currently moving, which is kind of... Hmm. Kind of suspicious, isn't it? Oh, wait. What? Okay, I don't know. Oh, we turn this manually, perhaps? Maybe. Um, wait. Did that just open both doors? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We, we also cannot undo that, so that's good. Ah, oh, yes. Well, that's all we need to do, then. Uh, let's go. Thank you. Because now we just use this exit. And the way through is open. Not much of a puzzle, but, um, sure. Yeah, I'm also definitely not fighting that guy on purpose, because it's just not worth it. Did we check this pig, though? We might not have. Not certain. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty sure you don't have to actually make sure you check from both sides. That would be a little bit silly. Uh, I mean, you never know. We did check this one, did we? Oink. Okay. Again, I'm pretty sure the game will just make it clear whenever we found the correct one. Also, there's stuff below this bridge, clearly. Oh, there he is! Achilles! We have him, I mean... He's stubborn, nab him. Yeah, I, I wish I could, but I actually have to... No! Really? And we surprised them? I, okay, fair enough, I guess. We've surprised each other. Um, why don't you go ahead and... Light ray this dude. Or should I slow them down? I probably should. 
It's only two of them, though. Yeah, you know what? Screw that. We're just gonna... We're just gonna kill him. That should work. Use water on him, I suppose. Okay, yeah, they're really not particularly tanky, thankfully. Uh, you can just slash this guy, right? There's no no reason not to use physical attacks on them. I can wildfire. I can just collect some stuff. They're so slow. Nice. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I guess a single boulder isn't a huge problem. And thankfully the game took pity on me and gave me a... Wait, I guess I might as well do this. Um, and gave me another... Emerald. To allow me to make up for my little blunder. So we got another one of those. Um, wait. <laughs> What was I trying to do? Oh dear. No, no, okay, we only need one more. No, we don't need... We need two more. No, we only need... Wait. Did I really just do that? I wanted to make another... I've been making these compound gems this whole game. And basically ignoring the... You know... The, the, the better version of, of the pure gems. And now that I actually need one, my brain is just in incapable of remembering that fact. So I messed up in the exact same way again as before. That is amazing. I wish I could just reload. I'm pretty sure I can't, though. Can I? You know, just on the off chance that it does not save your progress immediately. <laughs> that is... Sure something. I know I should have taken a break earlier, it's just... man. Uh. Come on, load faster. Actually, why are you loading so slowly? This game is sitting on a freaking NVMe SSD. Oculi... Nope, that definitely saved what I just did. Because, I mean, I, I guess it's normally a good thing that it does, but... <sighs> Right, so if I could make one of these, a tumbled emerald, I could combine that with a tumbled sapphire, and that way I, I'd have three tumbled tourmalines, right? Yep, okay. That's the plan. I mean, at this point I might as well... <laughs> I'm almost tempted to just make another uh, rough tourmaline. But that's just... not gonna do anything for me. Yeah, never mind. It's, you know... It's what it is. We're gonna find more emeralds. It's not a big deal. It's just annoying. And so unnecessary. Oh well. Okay, so we did find Achilles. We just didn't find a way to him. I only ran into this little combat because I wanted to double check that there wasn't a path down there, and there wasn't. We opened this up. We got this path open. I'm guessing that. This way down here leads to the pig, indeed. Achilles! <laughs> so we just have him in our bag now. Sure. Oh, 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 okay. Surprise strike, of course it's two of those guys. But that's fine. Kind of. Nora, um... Blow them all. Slow down the first rock. And wildfire on the archer. Okay, go ahead and gather your strength, that's fine. Switch you out for. 
guess Aurora for some magic attacks. Makes the most sense, probably. At Starlight. Hmm. This guy's actually already weakened. Hmm, I wonder. I, mean, I suppose we can actually slash all. Probably killing the archer. Knocking back. Um. Yeah, knocking back this rock dude. He might counter. With, uh. Oh, wow, the, the archer was fast. And so was this guy. And we got knocked back. Never mind. So much for that plan. Okay. Yeah, I was totally expecting to, to be able to keep this guy at least slowed down enough. But I guess I um, underestimated how long the uh, the slash all would take. Yeah, never mind then. Well, in that case, I guess uh, play it safe. Actually? Yeah, no, screw that. Um, attack this guy? I think I might have targeted the wrong guy. I probably did. Did I? I'm not sure now. I did target that guy. How did I do that? Okay. <laughs> Man. Okay, we paralyzed the guy. That's good. Very good. Um, attack. Just knock him. Oh. Jeez. There you go. Man, what a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Lots of XP, though. That's good. More levels to make up for all my mistakes. Hey, a rough emerald. Awesome. Um, right, you can... Get a defense upgrade. Uh, oculi. Oh, hey, we have another one of these, so we can make another... No, not doing it. Just kidding. There. This is what I wanted to do, right? Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay. Oh, uh, right, and we can unequip this one and make another facet of tourmaline. Yay! Awesome. Good stuff. And equip that to you. Fifteen percent chance to paralyze for six seconds. Very nice. Very nice. And we got a strength stardust as well. That's what they look like? Maybe I hadn't found a Strength Stardust so far. Yet. Hmm, actually she has the highest strength? Interesting. When did she... get stronger than, than Rubella, actually? Huh? When did that happen? She also kind of caught up level-wise? So maybe that's... part of the reason? Hmm. Well, in that case, in order to keep you relevant. I guess her basic attack is stronger, right? Yeah, just keep my best physical attacker relevant, I think is a decent idea. Since much more so than I initially thought uh, with the, the way this uh, the combat system works and switching out party members works, and the game is obviously designed around doing that constantly, it makes sense to keep everyone... to, to not focus on just a couple of characters couple of favorites, uh, which are basically your, you know, your default party, but everyone's in the default party all at once, right? It's just that there are only two people on the field at any given time, but whenever anyone's turn comes up, it's literally anyone in, in the entire party who can act, which is quite different from just what I'm used to, I suppose, from, you know, the standard Final Fantasy or, let's say, Dragon Quest kind of template. Anyway, um, right, anything else? For now? I don't think so. Nothing more hiding here. Uh, we're doing progress wise. 4 out of 8, 28 out of 79. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I. Um, okay. Got ambushed by those a little bit. That's okay. Um, just dash out of here. Oh, and right into the spiky ceiling. Wonderful. These spikes deal so much damage. I guess they kind of have to be to be relevant, but... Anyway. I suppose I... 
could return with the pig. But I can always teleport back, actually, so... Actually, also, this... Uh, all of these most recent shenanigans have taken quite a bit of time, so why don't I go ahead and end this episode right here? Uh, we're probably pretty close to the end of this windmills area, if I had to guess, and ready to move on into uh, whatever comes next. Well, the Cliffs of Aaron, I suppose. Or I guess we're also finding... Well, I mean, I guess that the Cliffs of Aaron are, well, off to the, to the west, to the left, whatever. Or maybe through some sort of door. It's obviously they're in south of here on the map. Uh, but we're also trying to find a way to that floating temple in the, in the background, so I would expect that one to connect in a different direction from here. Well, duh, I guess. Also, there's the symbol C, which is on the map. I wonder if that's an area that we're actually going to be going to. Going underwater exploration? Why not? Could absolutely happen, considering this is just a dream, right? Hmm. Isle of Nerida is also all the way over there on the other side. Come to think of it. Oh well, anyway. I don't know what I'm trying to, where I'm, if I was trying to, to go anywhere with that. Just general musings, I suppose. Um, yeah, anyway, we, we, I expect this, this windmills area in particular just to not go on for that much longer because it's been pretty large already. And either way, that doesn't, doesn't matter really because I'm not going to finish it today, but probably tomorrow, I suppose that's what I'm trying, what I was trying to say. Anyway, I really need to take a break now, as you can tell. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. When probably things are going a little bit more smoothly with less silly mistakes, but uh, we'll see about that. Bye-bye. <laughs>